Good evening. Welcome to WJZ.com. We've had showers early on. Now we have another batch of rain, some of it heavy across Virginia, particularly the Shenandoah Valley. Lightning and thunder, some moderate to heavy rain south of Richmond. Not only is there rain there, but it's a large area of it. And if it continues to move in our direction later tonight, maybe even as early as 9 or 10, we're going to see more rain in the region. Some of it could produce some more flooding, as we saw the last couple of days, some areas did see some minor flooding. We had some storms this afternoon. They've all weakened and move up to the north of our region. Just one or two showers now just east of the city. All the activity now we're looking at is down to the south, but it's moving from south to north. At least it's moving. That's the good news. But there's been some pretty heavy activity from, let's say, just southwest of the, our local area from that Hancock, Hagerstown, all the way down to a Roanoke. So that whole area there still under the gun for more rain activity. And that's why we still have this flash flood watching effect for everybody here pretty much west of the bay to western Maryland and the flood warnings now in effect for portions of Washington County for one creek out there that is has suffered some flooding so we do have some flooding activity out there more flood warnings across portions of Virginia with had more rain in south of DC as well they had some heavy activity this afternoon temperature wise no 80s where it hasn't rained, or at least where the sun's come out again. Otherwise, we're talking the mid, upper 70s. And it's humid all up and down the East Coast. We're seeing shower activity from southern portion of New England, some of it up there through New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and I'm a Pittsburgh, a Philadelphia area. Pittsburgh had some light showers. In our region, most of the activity is south of us, so we have to look at this moving in our general direction overnight. So let's say by early morning, shower activity across the region. Some of it could be moderate to heavy, particularly in the afternoon, as low pressure begins to approach the region by Friday evening. More activity probably to early Saturday. That's why the watch is extended into early Saturday morning. By that time, however, once it passes, our winds begin to go back to the west. We should begin to dry up, and sunshine should return at least for a portion of your Saturday. And again on Sunday, it'll be warmer this weekend with more sunshine. But it looks like, for the most part, the rain will have moved to our east. On the bay, small cap advise you till midnight. Otherwise, south winds storm just 5 to 10 at sunrise. There you see it, 608 sets at 817. The bay temp still around 80 degrees, despite all this rain. Warm and sticky, rain is sadder, maybe some spotty storms later on. Some of it could be heavy, 73 by morning. Variable clouds, sun and clouds, showers, and maybe some heavy storms again tomorrow. But that will be the pretty much end of it. You can see all the rain once again south of us. That has to move in our general direction. So we'll have to deal with this later on tonight. The next five days, Saturday and Sunday begin to dry out, 88, warmer, 90, 91, and 91, so it'll be hot and humid. The chances of showers each of those afternoons is slim, maybe 20 to 30 percent, but with all the heat and humidity, we could see some places we'll see a pop-up shower. But it looks like for the bulk of the rain we've seen will have finally moved out across the region. Have an updated forecast late tonight.